welcome to my channel. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. We are back for another, um, re not even a review. This is actually something different. This is um, basically rating and discussing the reunion before the reunion starts. We're going to be looking at the ladies and their looks and then also talk about the reunion seating um, and see, does it make sense where people are sat or I don't know, are some changes needing to be made? And we're doing this on the spirit of the reunion is coming up um, this Thursday on Bravo. And then if you don't have Bravo, it is um, Friday on Peacock. So um, definitely check that out. But without further ado, let's first go into the reunion seating chart. So let me go ahead and get that pulled up right now. Oh, and by the way, let me like address the elf in the room. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have not been on camera for a while. And to be honest, I think I've said this multiple times. It does have a lot to do with how many things are out there content wise. And also the fact that, I don't know, I actually have a life outside of like reviewing these shows. And this week has been a crazy week. And I'm recording this on election day and I will not be around for this. I'm going to be outside. So also too, you won't be getting Real Housewives New York anymore because I did mention I'm no longer going to be reviewing that. So there, there is that. And also too, for those who watch and review my Real Housewives Potomac, um, it is coming. I just have not had the chance to watch or review it again. I've been out and about, um, had some car troubles like this week and voting and all that. It was a lot. So there's been a lot going on. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the scene chart first and foremost. So first, um, we have, um, well, we actually have um, Shannon and Tamara sitting like right in, you know, right next to Andy. Um I don't think Tamara should sit next to Andy. Um, I get why, because of the way they did the rest of the seating chart. Because if you notice, they have all the ladies that get along on one side and then the other ladies that get along on the other side together. But I don't agree with this because it actually, really Jen should have been the one who's sitting next to Andy. Um, it should have been Jen and Shannon, in my opinion. I think that would have made the most sense because them two actually have storylines. They have something going on. And then where Gina said it at makes sense to me. I'm okay with that completely. Um, I'm, and um, then I will say after that, I would then say Tamara should be seated, should be where, um, I would say where Emily's at, that's actually really where Tamara would be, should be at. But I get why. Shan neither Shannon nor... Um, you know, Jen wants to sit next to Tamara and that would make it where one of them would have to sit next to her. So it checks out why it's the way it is, but I really think Tamara should have been really in Emily's spot because she was a posture. She was the one that caused all the drama. And then I would say after that, um, Emily should be where Jen is at. And then I think really Heather and katie or where they should be there's really nothing that needs to be changed with that heather didn't really have much going on this season um katie's new so it makes sense but i just think jen kind of got gypped at where she sit it at she really should have been next to andy because also too it's not just about her conflict it's just the fact that she, number i mean number one she's a fan favorite and has been really since she joined the show last season and number two, she, to me, is the new, the way housewives should be now moving forward. Like, she is quintessential housewives and a new iteration of how housewives should be moving forward. I think Jen symbolizes that through and through. So really, I don't think it's fair that Tamara has her seat. She shouldn't even be over there. Um, and really, to be honest, um... I guess the way around it that they could have done, I'm trying to think what they could have done to make it, maybe make it make more sense is Shannon. Yeah, fine. She stays where she's at. Um, and then have maybe, um, 
and then Jen, where Tamara's at. Um, then have, oh man, Gina. I would say Gina would sit next to Jen. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way around it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. But like, again, I think the reason why they did the seating the way they did, it makes sense, really, if you think about the conflict. But when it comes to story and who brought it this season, it doesn't make sense. But I get what they were doing here. I get what they were going for. They kind of have the alliances also, too, they kind of have each alliance, like, on each side. So the Shannon alliance, everyone is Team Shannon. Because, I mean, it kind of really was giving Team Shannon versus Team Tamara. Um, and, but Emily really had nowhere to go. Because Emily, when it comes to the Team Shannon thing, is probably the most neutral. But because Emily has been criticizing um, Jen this whole season, they put her on the other side. So it, it makes sense. So, and also to Emily and um, Katie, they don't really get along. But also too, I guess Gina and Katie don't really get along. I don't know. Like the last, at the very, very end, it seemed like Gina and Katie might be good now, but I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to look when it comes to the reunion. But anyway, that's all I got when it comes to the reunion scene chart. Let's go ahead and go into the looks this isn't going to take very long because this is not the most fashionable group. Let's just, let's be 100% real here. Okay, so next let's go into what the women are wearing. And I'm not going in any particular order. Um, first, let's go with Emily. She did that. This is probably the best that Emily has ever looked. I mean... Yeah, she did that. You could tell that she's worked hard, and I am proud of her for getting that body looking like a snack. It looks amazing. That dress looks amazing on her. Her hair is beautiful. I have no um, suggestions of how to improve the hair. Um, yeah, I don't have any complaints when it comes to Emily. Emily kind of did that. Out of everyone, she kind of actually... I kind of, I ain't going to hold you. I think she actually is the best dressed one, but I'm going to let you guys decide um, once we get to the rest of the ladies, but I definitely do think she's the best dress. Um, on this channel though, by the way, I do not go over like who the designers are and all that because for one, if you've been on my channel long enough, you know I suck at enunciating things. It's just not my forte and I do not want to butcher anyone's <laughs> names and designers, but credit to those who helped get this look together for Emily because it is amazing. She looks beautiful. And I even love her makeup. Her makeup looks very, very nice. Um, yeah, all in all, I would say this is probably one of her better looks. So um, I have nothing else to add to this. This is, yeah, she did that. So that's kind of all I got for Emily. Oh, by the way, let me do a rating system. So, um, if I'm rating her, if I'm doing a one through 10 look, I am going to rate, give her a rating of, let's give her a rating of a nine. I would say she's a solid nine. Um, I'll be honest, no one in this group's a 10. <laughs> Respectfully, no, just no one is because Again, this is not that franchise where you're going to have the fashions. Um, honestly, this to me has been the most improved reunion looks overall as a group that they've had because they finally have somewhat of a theme because they normally do not have a theme at all. Um, it still is a little all over the place. I kind of wish they were like Real Housewives of Atlanta and Potomac where they have like a color and a theme. Even like the Real Housewives of Miami, they have a theme. They don't necessarily have a color theme, but they have a theme and they understand the assignment, the ladies. So anyway, a nine is my rating. Next, we have Alexis Bellino and she is a friend of this season. So honestly, she looks fine. Um, she 
nothing special when it comes to her outfit, but also not bad either. I do love that brown color on her. It definitely matches the theme of what they got going on, kind of like this, um, kind of like a darker sunset kind of situation they have going on. I'm not exactly sure what the theme of the reunion is. Um, I'll have to definitely um, look to see what it is exactly. But I am liking like the cool, like the fall looking colors that everyone um, pretty much is doing with this. Um, I love her accessories. Her accessories are gorgeous. Only, okay, so the only critique I would have when it comes to accessories is because she's wearing a brown i don't like brown and silver i think brown and gold is a better like or even if that is a gold and is a white gold i think it should either be like a rose or like um just like her traditional gold color um that would be the only critique i have i do like the accessories i just kind of wish they were a different color um of course her ring's gonna be the color it is because it's you know um i guess it's an engagement ring not sure i guess we'll find out the reunion um for those who know y'all know i don't really see it for jesus jugs so i'm not really paying attention to what she has going on but for this outfit and it being a friend of i'm gonna give it a seven it's not bad it just isn't great either it's just actually no let's give it a 6.5 it's just it's just all right it isn't great but it's not horrible either um yeah i'm gonna give it i would have given it a seven if the accessories if i love the accessories but i don't so there's that anyway uh, moving on to the next person next we have gina and this is honestly the best that gina has ever looked for a reunion she looks amazing she did that um yeah she really really did that like i love this look on her i love that the skirt the dress is actually shorter but she has beautiful legs for it and she has a figure to make it work i love her shoes i love 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 her shoes i don't even really have any complaints when it comes to like um her accessories i think her not doing the accessories. I mean, she has a necklace on, but like less is more with this look. Let the dress be the look. She, and also too, I will say this, this is probably one of the few times that I noticed that she is wearing the dress and the dress is not wearing her because she has a, historically, and I mean, not to hate on Gina, but she is one of those people that always is someone where the dress is wearing her. And this time, it's not. I am curious to know how this dress is going to look sitting down. And also if she's going to have an issue sitting down because the dress is really short. <laughs> like really, really short. But again, she has a figure and legs for it. And um, yeah, how I rate this. Okay, so for Gina, I'm going to actually give her a special rating. I'm going to give her a 9.5 for Gina. Now, overall, if this wasn't Gina, if this was someone and it was just everyone else, um, I would give it an 8. She ate that. I'll give it a solid 8. She definitely ate it. Uh, but because it's Gina, and this is probably the best she's ever looked, it's a 9.5 for me. Not enough for a 10, but just a 9.5. But anyway... That's pretty much it for Gina's look here. Next, we have Heather and uh, <laughs> Heather. Oh, man. Okay. It's a cute dress. She looks like Heather. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and okay, for those who are aware, Heather does not veer off the bean path, a.k.a. fashionably, she's pretty basic um she likes darker colors is very clear to me she rarely wears like lighter colors and if i just wish at one point she would take a fashion risk and she she just does it and she almost always wear like she almost always wears like a brown or a black even like the previous reunions where they hat where people have worn lighter colors she's going to be in a brown or black if nothing else that is just what she's going to do and i know it works for her but also too i'm sure there's other looks that could work for her as well and she almost always has her hair down 
Like, again, this is just okay. I'm going to give this like a 5.5 because it's like, I just, I'm sick of her always just looking the same. Like, I just really wish she was um, like, um, step it up. And even with her hair, even with, oh, sorry. So aside, if she was just going to stick with this color in the dress, I would have loved this more if her hair was in a bob. Like, if she would have had the, a bob, a nice bob, this would have like brought the look up by like two points, like, at least by two points. It would have went from like a 5.5 .5 to a 7 for me. Um, so, but because this is just the way she always looks. And I feel like this isn't even necessarily a reunion look. Like this is something that Heather would wear outside of a reunion. So to me, I got, if she's coming back next season, girl needs to step it up. So yeah, that's what it is for me when it comes to Heather. Okay, next we have Jen and, oh man. Um, <laughs> I like this look, but I don't love it. For, okay, and the reason why I'm going to say this is we've seen Jen look better in her confessional. She's looked amazing on the show. And to me, this is just kind of subpar. And it's kind of... I know, hold you. I feel like the dress is kind of aging her. It makes her seem older. I, I don't understand why she went with kind of this, this matroning, this matronly looking dress. I, I guess for me, I think I would have loved it if she had like a little bit of like a shorter dress, something that was fitting more or d did something different with the hair. Cause she's that kind of, I mean, she literally is Malibu Barbie, like in real life. And so I just would expect to see malibu barbie in real life and reunion style though like that's been kind of the running theme with her and her malibu drink and everything and you know even the way they treat her um unfortunately this season they kind of treat her as she was like a ditz play it off go all in and, and be like a barbie because i mean she is i mean she's gorgeous so i love jen but this is not my favorite look for her and i am going to I know I'm being critical. I am going to give it a five because it does not look like a reunion dress to me. It fits. The fitting isn't quite great either. It looks like something that she may have just brought at the store and didn't get fitted for the reunion. And if you're going to do the reunion, you need to have a, and if you're going to do a longer dress like that, you need, it needs a fit. Um, and to me, it's just kind of loose in some of the areas for me. And, Again, I guess for me, like, she's in amazing shape. I just wish she would have worn something that would have shown it, in my opinion. Um, especially considering that they call her the Barbie. So anyway. Okay, before we go on to Shannon, I forgot to mention all these photos are, is from Bravo Insider and um, Bravo TV. So um I just want to make sure I got everyone the credit that they deserve here. But anyway, without further ado, the next person that we want to look at here is Shannon. And I like Shannon's look. I don't love it. Um, <clears throat> but it's more of a personal style thing versus anything else. To me, I will say this. This is probably the best Shannon has looked. Um... To a certain degree. Um, I kind of liked Shannon's reunion look last year just a little bit more. And I think it had to do with her doing her hair differently. Um, and also it might be the way she's posing. Like Shannon is not <laughs> the most coordinated when it comes out. She poses and everything. But, and also too, she does have a style where she almost goes, always goes for like a mod dress. But I like last season and what she was giving more. Um, when it comes to the reunion look, but, um, anyway, yeah, no, this is okay. It's a, it's a good look for her. It definitely is very Shannon. Um, she kind of, to me, I'll be honest, she's kind of in the same category as Heather, not really taking a risk, kind of just, you know, doing, looking like her. Um, and the reunion is a time where you could do, you could try to do something different. Like, and I kind of just wish she would have, but that's okay. So I guess how I'm going to rate this, I'm going to give it, I give it a 6.5. I don't love it, but.
but I don't hate it either. Um, again, it's pretty safe for her. But yeah, that's kind of how I feel about Shannon's look. And I think part of it is, it's just how she's posing in the dress. It's not helping. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, um, so yeah, Katie um, next is who we have here. And this is a solid first reunion look, first year reunion look for her. Like, I always try to give grace to those if they're the friend of or if it's their first reunion. A lot of times a friend of is their first reunion, but um, in, you know, Lexis Polino's case, we knew that wasn't the case. But um, anyway, yeah, Katie, I love this look on her. Um, the only critiques I have is I don't love her shoes. I kind of wish they were not even the same color as her dress. It, it's too much of the same color for me. Um, and I'm not sure if like her dress, like the bottom of the dress is doing something weird or if that's just part of her shoes. Like I'm kind of confused at the very bottom when it comes to her dress. So I don't love that. But I love the top part of that dress where it's showing off her body. I love her hair. Her hair is amazing. I am that, that hair is laid, and I love it. And I even love her makeup. It's just the only thing I'm not loving is, like, the shoes and the bottom of the dress. I kind of wish the bottom of the dress was designed slightly differently. Um, and also, too, I can't really tell what material this dress is, but I love the color. The color is, like, I, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I am actually going to give her a 7 um, actually, no, I'm going to give it a 7.5 because since it is her first reunion, she's kind of the only one that took like a risk. And for me, you get some, you get extra points for that over here. So yeah, I'm going to give her a 7.5. I do like this look. Yes, there are areas where it could have been improved, but that's also why she's not getting a 10. She's getting a 7.5, which is a solid score. Last but not least. Tamara Judge. Um, I, okay, so this is kind of actually, ironically, this is what I meant by how I wish Jen would have maybe dressed. Um, because for Jen, it's, and I'm not trying to do ageism or anything like that, but like this is a look that's a little bit more youthful. And to me, it's a little bit more age appropriate for Jen. And, and by the way, no, Tamara looks amazing with this and it does give her a youthful look. And I just kind of wish Jen would kind of went with that similar approach. That's kind of where I'm trying to get at here. Um, because I am trying to separate from the fact that I cannot stand Tamara when I'm critiquing her outfit. But like, no, this is a cute dress. Now, um, and I'm guessing what I'm, what I'm going by is just the style, not necessarily the whole entire dress itself. Because to me, this is not necessarily a reunion dress, but I like what she was going for here. Um, this actually kind of reminds me, and I, I know another reviewer said this, but I actually agree with them on this. It reminds me when um, the way Kyle had her whole entire outfit and hair like two seasons ago at her reunion, like very youthful, like is giving... Yes, I might be in my 50s, but I am dressed like I am in my 30s. Because anyway, I mean, and again, I don't feel a way about it because I'm older to myself. <laughs> and I do, I I dress appropriately for, I guess, my age, if we're going to air quote that. But there's also times where I dress youthful because when you look good, you dress good. It doesn't matter, right? Um, but anyway, I, this is a very typical Tamara look, though. I will say this. Um, and she has an amazing physique, so she might as well show it off, right? So I have no complaints when it comes to this look for the most part. I, I do kind of wish, um, she would switch it up because again, I feel like what the, the running theme is a lot of the OGs, Shannon, Heather, and Tamara, they suffer from just sticking with a certain style at all times. They never switch it up. And for the reunion, this is a time where you should change it up, switch it up a little bit, maybe even change your hair color. Who knows? Like just jazz it up just a little bit. And you don't have to permanently change it. I mean, there are plenty of like life looking wigs that look, you know, different. Um, but again, that might be a personal style preference. Like I am someone who likes to switch it up regularly. So I just always encourage that for others to do the same. But um, anyway, 
I guess how I will rate this dress, I am going to give it, or the outfit and how she's looking, I will give it, I give it a 6.5. Um, it looks good. It's very Tamara. But, um, and it is a little, I mean, it's not really fashion risk because this is kind of how Tamara dresses like a lot. So to me, there's not much of a difference, but yeah, it's a good look. Um, yeah, that's all I got for that. Anyway, so that does conclude my, um, take on the reunion looks as well as the reunion seating chart, um, and just getting ready for the reunion. Um, for those who are in the United States of these Americas, um, if you haven't went out to vote yet, please do so. Um, it is, you know, it's a very important election. Um, I'm going to be out and about and, um, yeah, hopefully, I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, that does conclude um, my review. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgia Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.